An essential way to start your day is to focus on your internal organs. If you are dealing with a health condition, again, a very important thing to do is to make sure that the major organs are functioning properly. Always start off with a gentle health bounce, and then we're going to bring our hands into target major organ areas. We're going to begin with your hands at the top of the chest and in the center of the chest to work the upper lung area, the heart area, and of course the lymphatic ducts. That's where the lymph drains out. Now the key to this routine is to relax completely, to gently bounce, and to become aware of your hands. And most importantly, don't forget to breathe. So you can breathe rhythmically with your bouncing while you're holding your hands. If they get a little warm, great sign. It's a sign of improved circulation. Slowly, let's move the hands down. And we're now working just above and below the belly button area. Again, very important organ areas. You're just relaxing and breathing and enjoying the bounce. From here, we're going to move over to the right side of your body, placing one hand on the lower rib cage and the other hand just below that. These are two very important areas. First of all, the lower lung area, making sure that you get those lungs working properly, and of course, the liver area. If you are dealing with a health condition, the liver is a very important one to help your body detox. So hold those hands, breathe deeply, and relax. Very gently, let's move the hands across to the left side of the body. Here we have the spleen, that's part of your immune system, and of course the lower lung on the left side of your body. It really is important to relax with this routine, to breathe evenly, and just to be aware of your hands. We're not trying to fix anything, we're simply charging up parts of our body. Let's take the hands down to the lower belly, we're going to work the colon area, so we're on either side of the lower belly area. Colon is extremely important in any health condition because again that's where the waste gets removed from the body. A lot of people have colon issues, waste building up, and of course if you are going through treatments and things like that, there will be additional waste. So this will help your body by recharging these organs and helping it to flush out the waste. We've also got with your fingertips the important node area for the lymph, so that's important for clearing waste as well. Let's go around to the back of your body now. Justin's going to turn gently and we're going to place your hands on the lower part of your back. A lot of people have back problems, lower back strain, very gently holding your hands on either side of the spine at the lower part of your body and just relax and breathe. Again, if you do have particular conditions, maybe a sore back is your particular problem, then you might want to spend more time just working on that one particular area. Just relax, breathe, and feel your hands. From here, we're going to very gently slide the hands up, just one hand width further up. We're now working from the waistline down and again on either side of the spine. This is a very important area also for back support but more importantly the kidney area which is found around the waistline area. Kidneys again are a very important organ in the body, great for energy but also helping your body to detoxify. Breathe, feel your hands, feel the warmth flowing through your body and know that you're charging up these organs, that's the most important part. You're jump-starting all of these organs, giving them some more power so they can do a better job for you. Let's go to the spine now. You're going to place one hand on the bottom of your spine and one hand just under the base of your skull. Now what we're doing here is we're sending the energy through the spine. So we're working from top to bottom, from bottom to top. And as we're breathing and feeling those fingertips, the energy is flowing through the spine. And this of course is also charging up the entire nervous system. So those nerves that are communicating to every part of your body they are now being supercharged, bringing the messages much quicker to the body and of course returning those messages to the brain, which of course needs to understand what's going on. So relax and charge up your spine. From here we're going to come back around to the front of the body. We're going to place one hand gently underneath the armpits. This is another very important lymphatic area for the nodes 
and of course if there has been any surgery or any removal of lymph tissue in this area this is extremely important to keep this lymph area flowing so holding your hands underneath assists with the clearing of the waste and of course draining out that excess fluid relax hold it's almost like giving yourself a little hug have a little smile as you give yourself a hug for the day from here we're going to go to the throat gently coning your fingers place them on either side of the throat area and we're now going to work the thyroid gland this is a very important gland for metabolism in the body helps the cells to function optimally relax and breathe and make sure the touch is gentle and once again be aware of your fingertips as you gently bounce and breathe if it's uncomfortable holding them like that you can also turn the hands and hold them just above the throat area from here we're going to the all-important brain area so placing your hands very gently on either side of your head we're working the left and right brain and this again provides coordination in everything that we do balances our thinking centers the left and right side of the body and just relaxes the mind breathe and be aware of your hands remember none of the positions are forced if they're uncomfortable just relax your arms and work them for a shorter period of time let's finish off with the front and back of the brain so we're going to very gently place one hand on the forehead and the other hand under the back of the head breathe and relax we're working the frontal lobes and the occipital lobes the back of the head area again if it becomes uncomfortable you can always change your hands around relax for a while take the hands down and then bring them up again when the timing is right so we've pretty much worked through the whole body so very gently relax your hands down again if there are specific areas that you need to work you can always focus on them for longer instead of going through the whole routine if you are dealing with a health condition the lymphatic areas are very important that's your ducts and the various node areas it's also important to work the major elimination organs that would be your liver on the right side your colon and of course the kidneys and for supercharging it's the spine and the brain make sure you do this every day it's an essential part of your health routine.